it will be posted Friday. Wait. This is Jackie Rose with Jackie'sRamblings.com and DirtPornomore.com. I just wanted to do my denture tips video for y'all. It will be posted Friday, January 25th, 2019. Um, so let me go ahead and get started. On one of my first couple weeks with um, getting my dentures, I was in pain. So I recommend an over-the-counter uh, like ibuprofen or or even if you can get a prescription if you're pain intolerant um, and maybe take something before they do your extractions or, or make sure that they give you anesthesia or gas depending on your pain tolerance and what your dentist has provided for you. Mine only had Novocaine and then I took um, shots and then I took ibuprofen and stayed on top of the pain with ibuprofen after that. Um, you will want to stock up on some things before your appointment. Um, you may or may not get your dentures right away. I got my immediates right away. My permanents too. Just some people get temporary. Um, but usually the dentist always tells you, I don't know if all dentists, but you need to keep your teeth in for 24 hours after your surgery. Um, and stay on top of the pain. And then when you do take out your teeth, you want to do warm water salt rinses. This is what I used. This cup and salt. See? And I also used Orgel mouth sores. This stuff is awesome. And I used it with alcohol. And it kind of numbs your mouth, you know. And you will want to get mold replacements and eat soft foods like mashed potatoes, cottage cheese, yogurt, eggs. Uh, just look up soft foods on the internet. Easiest thing to do. Um, some, I don't know if all dentists give aftercare instructions. Mine didn't, so I just Googled it. <laughs> um, let's see. But yes, and this has pain relief in it, by the way. Now it's still got the alcohol. I don't know if you can see alcohol in there. But this stuff is awesome. I love it. Um, you may want to join a... If you're still on Facebook, there is a Before and After Denture Facebook group. Very helpful. And full with the information in their files as well. And you get to hear stories, some you know just to be with people that relate to your stories you also want to watch youtube videos on other people's experiences i just posted mine yesterday yes yesterday on tuesday on wednesday on wednesday those two things are very helpful and i love being prepared um you after your initial thing you may want to take out your dentures for a few hours a day. It depends. You may have got instructions from your dentist. Follow those. But um, you need to let your dentures, uh, you need to take them out at least. In my opinion, you need to take them out at least for a few hours to let your gums breathe. Um, the first two weeks, I had them in mostly, but took them out for a few hours a day. And then the last two weeks before I saw my dentist again, I was... Uh, taking them out at night when I go to sleep and it is recommended once you're used to it and stuff to take them out when you go to sleep. A lot of people don't do that. My grandmother still, she will only take out her dentures to clean them. My mom, she takes them out when she goes to sleep at night. It's just, I mean, a lot of people still just would rather take them out to clean. That's it. They'd rather have them in 24-7. Me, I like to take them out to let my gums breathe. So I take them out at night. Um... Let's see. Yeah. Um, chew, chew, chew. This is very important. I almost choked a couple of times when I first got them. Because I, and I kind of like to rush the process. So, <laughs> you need a chew, chew, chew. Um, it's very important. Um, and if you do want to try to take a bite, Take a bite slowly. Go. Okay. But the important take small bites or, or tear it off or cut it in pieces and, and take a bite and chew it. Because you got to practice chewing and talking again. And um, 
and it, it, it you got it, but it's very important you take small bites and or cut it up in pieces and just eat it that way and chew, chew, chew. Um, very important. Okay, I haven't even got to, um, let's see. So I basically, I, I'm at five weeks, five days. I washed my mouth and brushed my bottom teeth because my bottom are regular teeth. Um, twice a day, of course, like you would if you were brushing your teeth. Um, and then um, at night, I soak my dentures in these. Equate Denture Cleaner. I don't care about the brand. The brand's not important to me. I just put those in at night. Um, and then I brush them in the morning with my denture toothbrush, which I forgot. Shoot. Let me get my denture toothbrush. Hold on. It's important, even though I'm sure you all know what a denture toothbrush is, but still. Oh, and in the first two weeks, you want to do the warm salt water rinses a lot. Like, it, it helps disinfect your mouth and everything. But here's the denture toothbrush. Again, equate, because I don't care. I have, and then, you'll want something to keep your dentures in. You can use a small Tupperware container with a lid, or get yourself a denture container. Some people get like ultrasonic cleaners that are like $30 for their dentures. I don't know, but I'm, I'm happy being simple. So I have two containers. Um, before I started using adhesive, I'd keep it by my bed so I can take them out for a few minutes, you know, and then put them back in. But now I just, I don't do that anymore because I have the adhesive. But once I have my last reliner, I'll probably do that again. Um, let me see. After I saw my dentist for my third appointment to have him remove my stitches and do my reliner, um, he said I might need a little bit of adhesive. A family member recommended Fixident, and so I used Fixident. I only used three dots, one in the center and then one on each side, And um, but that's after I saw him after he did my reliner and took out my stitches. So. That's like a little bit further along. Like I said, I'm five weeks and five days or six days. I'm almost six weeks now, but because um, I went and saw him originally for my dentures on December 14th. But, and then I saw him my last time on was it January something. Anyway, once you're further along and you go see him for your reliner, you may or may not need an adhesive because it takes six months to a year for your gums to completely heal. I'm going to wait as much as long as possible before I go see him again for my last reliner. And then after I get my last reliner, I won't need to um, to use an adhesive anymore. Um, but everybody has different situations, different health issues, different everything, unique situations and everything. So you're, you may be doing things differently than what I did. You know, my, my, my denture story was different than yours or than what you will have. So, um, so you, you just have to feel what's best for you and do what's best for you. This is what I'm doing based on my experience, but there are tips on the way to help you and you take what you need from my tips, if that helps. Um, I may do, once I get my last reliner, I might do one last denture video. But um, I think my experience and my denture tips, I hope, is helpful. And um, let's see. I get everything. You know, the first two weeks, though, you're like, what the hell? Am I ever going to be able to eat again? You may or may not lose weight. I lost 12 pounds. Um, I'm now actually at my goal weight, <laughs> which is funny. Um, and I wasn't even really trying because, well, I am, but 
the dentures thing just kind of it just kind of happens so anyways thank you all for watching this will be posted friday january 25th 2019 um and i hope this video has helped some of you and you guys have a great weekend bye